So, you have a dual boot Steam Deck, and you can't boot into SteamOS after the last update. No big deal. This video will get you straightened away as quick as possible. There are currently three types of dual boot systems out there. There is the standard Steam Deck boot manager, where you have to press volume, minus, and power together to get to the boot menu. And then there is Clover and Refind. Today, we're going to go over all three and how to recover SteamOS. First Clover, then Refind, and lastly, what to do when you have neither of the custom dual boot loaders. First, you will need to boot manually into Steam. To do this, from a full shutdown, hold volume plus and power together until you hear the beep, then let go. Now browse with your D-pad or keyboard to the boot files option on the bottom left. Press enter or A. Then press A or enter on the first option. Then again on the EFI folder. Then the SteamOS folder. And lastly, press it on the steamcl.efi file. This is going to boot into SteamOS manually. Just give it a minute for it to boot up. Once it's booted, if you're on Clover, your work should be done. Clover automatically restores itself once you enter SteamOS. Now you can just restart and you should see the Clover menu and be able to get into both SteamOS and Windows. However, if you're not using Clover, then we're going to talk about method two, which is fixing refind. First, when you're inside SteamOS, you're going to need to go into desktop mode. Once inside, you should have a refind GUI shortcut on your desktop. Double click on this. Then once inside there, make sure that your boot options are already selected. They should be from when you previously set up Refind. In my case, I just have SteamOS as the primary and Windows as the secondary. Then click on the bottom left where it says Install Refind, and you're going to need to enter your password for your Steam Deck. This should have been configured when you set up Refind initially. Once that finishes, click on Create Config. Nothing will seem to happen, but then you'll just want to click on Install Config and put in your password again. Lastly, let's turn on SysD. So click on the SysD button, put in your password one last time. Once it shows the line 1-16 out of 16 end, just close it. That should auto repair the dual boot like Clover the next time this breaks. Now we can close out the refined GUI and restart the Steam Deck and you should be all set. Lastly, for the third method, this is if you don't have a dual boot manager, you just need to get into desktop mode. Then click on the Steam Deck logo and then system and then console. Now you need to type in sudo space efi boot mgr space dash lowercase c space dash uppercase l space quote steamos end quote space dash lowercase l space begin quote backslash efi backslash steamos backslash steamcl dot efi end quote space dash lowercase d space forward slash dev forward slash n v m e zero n one p one and press enter make sure that's all punctuated where necessary because linux commands are case sensitive after you do this it should output a bunch of stuff but you'll see that the boot 0000, 000 priority is steamos now you should be able to shut down your Steam Deck and then boot into the built-in menu by holding down volume minus and power until it beeps and then you should see SteamOS listed. I would highly recommend that you either use Clover or Refine moving forward because they both work extremely well and save you some time with each SteamOS major upgrade that breaks these. I have tutorial videos for both of these options up on the screen. Both accomplish the same goal and are easy to set up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.